Hi, I'm Krishna Patel and I'm a mountaineer. I climbed Everest in 2009, becoming the youngest Indian to do so. I then went on to climb the highest peaks in Antarctica, South America and Europe and was the first Indian woman to do that. Uh, I've been a part of major uh, adventures throughout India. I have rode down the Ganga from the source to the sea. I've cycled from Kolkata to Kanyakumari. Uh, I've been uh, on an expedition on the Mississippi and the Yellow River. So uh, adventure has always been a part, a major part of my life. I currently run uh, and own a restaurant in Kashmir. How do you overcome fear and anxiety? Uh, mountaineering has put me in a lot of really dangerous situations or uh, situations that I never expected that I would face head on so early in life. Uh, when I climbed Everest in 2009, we had a massive uh, avalanche that took away one of our Sherpas. Uh, this was the 17th of May, 7th of May, and uh, we for sure, as a team, were completely, uh, you know, all over the place. I wouldn't say devastated, but we were in shock and we were, uh, you know, literally all over the place in that sense. Uh, we had less than 10 days left to head out for the summit and uh, the mental space that we were in, of course the anxiety, the fear of knowing that uh, that could have been me, uh, you know, uh, was extreme. Uh, but at the same time, uh, what really helped us get through that was to, to actually understand that um, all of us came here to uh, towards a certain goal and uh, in that process of that goal we always knew I mean before I ever set out for Everest I knew the kind of sport mountaineering was and I knew the kind of risks it handled and uh, I remember one of my uh, teammates came up to me and said who is a much senior climber of course came up to me and said Krishna you do realize that uh, this could have been you and I said, yes, of course, I'm extremely aware of that. And uh, he said, that also means that the team member that died also knew that when he came into this in the first place. And uh, it is our absolute uh, respect for his choice uh, that, that he knew that he could die and that he still uh, went ahead and came and did this. So, we as mountaineers or fellow mountaineers, we need to respect that. Um, and that really changed a sort of perspective in my head. I remember immediately understanding that, uh, you know, I have also taken that same choice. And uh, if I had to, uh, you know, lose my life climbing uh, a particular mountain, I had to be myself first, extremely confident and okay with that outcome. Uh, which is when maybe my family and my friends and my other teammates can actually, you know, sort of uh, come to terms with it as well. And so I, I would say that the first thing that we do with fear and anxiety is to completely accept it, to accept that yes, we are fearful of this. Yes, I do have, uh, you know, massive anxiety about how I'm going to get this done. But to actually sort of accept it and be like, yes, I know this is going to happen, but nonetheless, I will sort of forge ahead or try my level best. So um, in in totality, I think I would say the best way to de deal with any fear or anxiety, in my opinion, is to first accept that anxiety, is to accept that it's okay to be anxious for this and it's okay to be fearful of this. Uh, in fact, in mountaineering, we also say that uh, if you're being fearful of what you're doing, you're actually being much more alert uh, because, I mean, we are in a life and death situation and so it is nice to be aware of the fear that you have, just not let it, uh, you know, completely handicap you. Uh, the fear should not stop you from doing uh, what you want to do, but just make you aware of all the risks that you're taking and uh, sort of give in to those risks and enjoy that thrill of uh, that anxiousness. I mean, uh, we have to... We have to hug our anxiousness out of our lives and that's the only way to do it.